Hey, how's everybody? I just got an update regarding the Washington State Long-Term Carers Act that I wanted to pass on to you guys. So just this afternoon, I received an email that states that the company Mutual of Omaha, which is only one of nine different long-term care providers in the traditional space that are still offering coverages, they actually just issued this statement saying that effective immediately, Mutual of Omaha is, is suspending long-term care sales in the state of Washington. So you can no longer purchase long-term care policies from Mutual of Omaha until uh, November. So it goes on to say that applications submitted on or before the end of the day on June 16th, which is today, will be processed as normal. So if you've been delaying signing your application, if you already started the process with them, go ahead and sign before midnight tonight, or else it's not gonna count, because it, then it goes on to say that any applications received June 17th, which is tomorrow or after, is not gonna be accepted. So then you're gonna have to go through a different insurance company as well. Now this is huge news because this is the first time we've seen someone completely pull out in regards to this Washington State Long-Term Cares Act. Now we're going to see what other insurance companies are going to do or react, if they're going to follow suit to this, if they're going to try to capitalize on this op opportunity and to increase their potential sales in the long-term care space. And we're going to see what these other companies do in the coming days and weeks. So again, this is just temporary. This is not a permanent suspension. It's only until November of 2021 once the exemption period stops. Now, will Washington State react to this and change deadlines to a lot more time? The only time is going to tell. I'm going to assume probably not, but we'll keep I'll keep you posted if that were to change. And speaking of other insurance companies looking to capitalize on the Washington State's long-term care situation, Nationwide had just sent me an email saying that they're still offering policies to people in Washington State. So Nationwide actually has two different types of plans. They have a life insurance policy with a long-term care rider on it, and they have their hybrid policy. So it's essentially part life insurance, part long-term care. They each work a little bit differently, but those are still being offered for them. I took a quick glance at the fact sheets they sent over to me, and currently the minimum issue age for their policies, at least on the hybrid side, look to be about age 30. So if you're age 30 and up, that's still an option for you guys to apply into. If for people 30 and under, the life insurance side may be a better uh, place to go. So when I glanced through their life insurance fact sheet, I didn't see any minimum issue ages, at least not in the terms of getting the long-term care rider on it. Most life insurance policies don't, um, but I've emailed them waiting for a response back to get some clarification on that. And I'll be forward to pass it on to you guys. And if you're still trying to figure out this whole long-term care thing and which policy I should go with and this and that, pros and cons, then in the description below, I actually have a free long-term care guide that you guys can have. So just go ahead and click on that if you're interested. Until next time, remember that your future depends on what you do today.